Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Eats. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement. No reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus Chapter 30 You shall make an altar to burn incense on. You shall make it of acacia wood. Its length shall be 18 inches, and its width 18 inches. It shall be square, and its height shall be 36 inches. Its horns shall be of one piece with it. It shall overlay it with pure gold. Its top, its sides round it, and its horns. It shall make a gold moulding around it. It shall make two gold rings, pour it under its mouldings, and its two ribs, and its two sides you shall make them, and they shall be places for poles, for which to bear it. You shall make the poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. You shall put it before the veil, that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with you. Aaron shall burn incense of sweet spices on it every morning, when he tends the lamps, he shall burn it. When Aaron lights the lamps at evening, he shall burn it, continual incense before Yahweh, throughout your generations. He shall offer no strange incense on it, or burnt offering or meal offering, and you shall pour no drink offering on it. I shall make atonement on its horns once in the year, with the blood of the sin offering of atonement once in the year. You shall make atonement for it throughout your generations. It is most holy to Yahweh. Yahweh spoke to Moses, saying, When you take a census of the children of Israel, according to those who are counted among them, and each man shall give a ransom for his soul to Yahweh, when you count them, that there be no plague among them when you count them. They shall give this, everyone who passes over, to those who are counted, five grams after the ten grams of the sanctuary, five grams for an offering to Yahweh. Everyone who passes over to those who are counted, from twenty years old and upward, shall give the offering to Yahweh. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less, than the five grams when they give the offering of Yahweh. To make an atonement for your souls. You shall take the atonement money from the children of Israel, and shall appoint it for the service of the tent of meeting, that it may be a memorial for the children of Israel before Yahweh, to make atonement for your souls. Yahweh continued to speak to Moses, saying, You shall also make a basin of brass, and its base of brass in which to wash. You shall put it between the tent of meeting and the altar, and you shall put water in it. Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet in it, when they go into the tent of meeting. They shall wash the water, that they not die. Or when they come near to the altar, to minister, to build an offering made by fire to Yahweh. So they shall wash their hands and their feet, so that they not die. And it shall be a statue forever to them, even to him and to his descendants throughout their generations. Yahweh spoke more to Moses, saying, also, take five spices of liquid myrrh, five kilograms, and of fragrant cinnamon, half as much, even two and a half kilograms, and of fragrant cane, two and a half kilograms, and of cassia, five kilograms, after the ten grams of the sanctuary, and a litre of olive oil. You shall make it a holy anointing oil, a perfume compounded after the art of the perfumer. It shall be a holy anointing oil. You shall use it to anoint the tent of meeting, 
the Ark of the Testimony, the table and all its articles, the lampstands and its accessories, the altar of incense, the altar of burnt offering with all its utensils, and the basin with its base. You shall sanctify them, that they may be most holy. Whatever touched them shall be holy. You shall anoint Aaron and his sons and sanctify them, that they may minister to me in the priest's office. You shall speak to the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing all to me throughout your generations. It shall not be poured on man's flesh, and do not make any like it, according to its composition. It is holy. It shall be holy to you. Whoever compounds any like it, or whoever puts any of it on a stranger, he shall be cut off from his people. Yahweh also said to Moses, Take to yourself sweet spices, gum resin, and manager, and gobble them. Sweet spices with pure frankincense. This shall be an equal weight of each, and you shall make incense of it, a perfume after the heart of the perfumer, seasoned with salt, pure and holy, and you shall beat some of it very small, and put some of it before the testimony in the tent of meeting, where I will meet with you. It shall be to you most holy. The incense which you shall make, according to its composition, you shall not make for yourselves. It shall be to you, holy for Yahweh. Whoever shall make any like that, the smell of it, he shall be cut off from his people.